Man, it feels like it's been forever since I have cited Windows Central on this channel with a news story with you know, Surface Duo sort of moving into the, the realm of <laughs> things we don't talk about anymore. I haven't had a lot of reason to go back there, but this morning, we do have a reason to go back here. Finally, Daniel Rubino writes in this headline, Microsoft has successfully integrated Copilot AI into its Microsoft launcher for Android smartphones. Now, of course... You can install this launcher on any device, but we're going to be taking a look at it on the Surface Duo number two. Let's dig in and see exactly how this is integrated. So I've got my Surface Duo 2 here, and let me scroll down and we'll look at the change log. So first thing you got to know is this is in the beta version of the Microsoft Launcher. If you scroll down, you should see a little option there to join the beta, and off you will be going. But here is that change log. We're thrilled to enhance your Microsoft Launcher experience with the integration of Copilot right into your feed. This update brings your everyday AI companion closer to you. Effortless access Copilot is now just a swipe away, ready to assist you with answers and content generation. Generate images, pro performance, blah, 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 blah. So of course, this has been updated and what you can immediately see here is in their little search widget, which you can add, put wherever you want it to be, you do now have the co-pilot icon. And if I click on that, oops, if I click on that, oops, if I click on that, oh, Surface Duo. If I click on that, you're going to get the co-pilot app basically opening up and you can do whatever co-pilot things you want to do in there. I do want to point out that it says Copilot uses AI. Check for mistakes. Maybe Google could add something like that into Gemini or into their AI search results because um, maybe that would help people understand what exactly they're looking at. Also, if you do a swipe down to do like a universal search, you have the Copilot icon there as well. Something that's kind of odd to me though, that I don't know why this is like this. Let's get rid of that. If we swipe down and you just start typing something, you lose that co-pilot icon. Like, why is web search the only option there? Of course, it would pull up apps if anything was applicable. But why is there not a co-pilot icon here that I could click and it would just take me straight into co-pilot and then perform that search? I think that would be really, really neat. Now, I do think that co-pilot is actually quite strong. Like, I think it's right there with Gemini in terms of its usefulness. And I use Gemini on my other, my, like the phones I actually daily drive all the time. You can see here, asking it a question. And it's giving a fairly detailed answer. Let's see what this says here. Yeah, I think that that looks absolutely fine. And it's actually continuing to give some information there, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can also use this thing for image creation. We're going to have it created. You can see a concept for a Microsoft Android phone. And it, it's pretty quick. I do think that Gemini has actually sped up a ton over the last couple of weeks. And it might be a little bit faster at this now. But you can see here is, you know, an example of what it thinks would be an Android phone by Microsoft. Android logo on the back, Microsoft logo as well. I mean, that's kind of cool. Of course, you can put that same widget over here in the, I forget what this is called, your widget feed is what I'm going to say it is. Launch it from there just as easily also. This is decent, right? Like, I think that they could go maybe a couple of steps further, like I said, having it pop up in your search there. But I think it's definitely a good step in the right direction. I also want to point out this article, which somehow I missed too. Microsoft Phone Link just copied this great feature from Windows 11 Snipping Tool. Basically, in the Phone Link application, which allows you to basically interact with your phone through your Windows computer, they're adding the ability to extract text from images that you can then copy and paste. Of course, part of Phone Link is that you can see the images that are on your phone. You're going to now be able to open up one of those images and then extract the text from those images. And I can show you what this looks like within the snipping tool. As you can see, I just sort of snipped from this web page. And what you can now do is click on this button here. It's going to scan it. And now this text is able to be copied and pasted. This is a really nice, useful tool. So let's say you're on your phone and there's some text that, that you need to be able to copy and paste. You can take a picture of it, sit down at your computer, and now that image is there, pull it up, grab the text out of it, and off you go. This is just a nice little quality of life feature that they are apparently adding, rolling out relatively soon. Right now, it is in the release preview channel. So it's there if you're in that channel. Again, coming everybody else pretty soon. Now, let me try to like preemptively answer the next question that I'm sure is coming. Does this mean that Microsoft is continuing to work on the concept of a phone? 
Maybe something like what I just showed you <laughs> generated by Copilot. The answer is, unfortunately, not that I have heard. It has been deathly quiet on that front, really since just before Panos Panay left Microsoft to jump ship and go over to Amazon. I have not heard just about anything at all. And when I've reached out to some of the contacts I've made over the last couple of years, they tell me they've not heard anything either. I don't think Microsoft is currently putting any real work into making a new phone. They are continuing to update their Android apps. Sure, absolutely. But that is very different from actually developing their own phone. It seems as though when Duo was sort of put on the shelf, it has stayed on that shelf. It's really sad to say that not only was a Duo 3 absolutely in the works, there was also that light version, the Duo Go, maybe they were going to call it, that got canceled. They were also experimenting with a slab-style phone as well, and as far as I'm aware, work on all of that has not picked up since it ended, like I said, quite a while back. So this is cool, but don't let it get your hopes up too high. Don't think that this means a phone is coming. I'm going to drop a link in the description to the Windows Central article. Go give that a click and check it out as well. Daniel Rubino, uh, nice guy. We're friends on Twitter, so, you know, go check out his article. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.